hello today i am going to show you how you can store images and how you can display images in asp.net i will show you everything regarding this so first of all we have to create new website asp.net empty website now press ok now we are going to create one page insert images and now add now we have required one database so we are going to create one database database name should be testing now we have database name testing now we are going to create one table we take image path where here maps then we are going to create title and where here 50 now we are going to save this table table name is table 1 now okay okay table 1 already exist we are going to create table 11 okay now we have this table here in designing view we have to add images so first of all we have to create one type of form so we have required file upload control file upload now we have required one text box and now we have required one button so <coughs> from here we are selecting images here we are enter title and using this button we can save that before that we have to create one folder folder name images so when we are uploading images uh, should be from here now i am going to write here coding so here we have to do database connectivity so we have to add library from right click here property from connection string we have to copy this and paste here now we have to do file upload coding file upload one dot save as now we have to give path request dot physical application path this path we, uh, when we are going to write this means this path is up to here now inside that sorry inside that we have to write only images because inside this website one our folder is directly on here so after this we have to write directly images and here write file upload one dot file name dot to string here we are going to take one variable name path now we have to do here database connectivity connection open connection close sql command command type dot text cmd dot command text and here we have to write insert query
here we have to write path dot to string and here we have to pass text box one dot text cmd dot execute non query now we have to check why we are getting here line now we are going to run y plus operator doing error this is all right request dot pc to application path oh we have forgot to write this undefined variable path so we are, we are going to declare here in globally dot net rules are so straight now we have to select here from images pictures okay i will go into take this test button oh our table name is table 11 now it's okay okay now we stop here now we are going to check here we get images or not yes we get images now here we are going to show in table we are getting decoded or not yes snap one the snap seats is we run before that and we get this so this is not useful for us now we are going to run again and going to add one more record now we are going to check here we get three records or not yes we are getting three records now we are going to create page for display record get new item we have form here we are taking one page now in this page we have required data list so we are going to take here data list you can get is from this data Okay, now 
we have required this transaction string in this display record now we have required these two libraries also here now again we have required this connection now we have to write here select query select star from table 11 now we have to use a data table now we have to use a data adapter now we have to fill this data adapter now we have to write now we have to find now in this designing in this data list we have to add item template in this item template we have to use table trtd for displaying record here we are going to write img src img src is similar um, whatever you are using in html now here i am going to hide now i am going to with and here we are going to view path less than percentage as well and we have to give here our table column name our table column name is image underscore path so i am going to write here and i am going to take another td in this td I want to display title we have to change here fill name okay fill name is title now set a start page and now we run you can see we are getting these three images now here I am going to run the second page here you can see we have three images now I am going to add fourth one here now you can see we add one more images so this way you can display and you can add images in ASP.NET thank you